Hi, my name is Frederick Lee. Um, I, I'm sure that you are familiar with prophecy. Um, and I'd like to mention, I've, I've been on the Internet a lot lately, and I've been looking up all the various prophecies, all of them. Uh, there, are, there are dozens and dozens of Native American prophecies. In other words, different tribes that have never even gotten together that have developed these prophecies through whatever methods they use, whatever spiritual, uh, you know, things that they go through. And every one of them, Nostradamus, Ragnarok, uh, Revelations of the Holy Bible, uh, all of them say that something big is going to happen. You know, and when you look at the Mayan calendar, they've actually got dates going on there, okay? Now, since my near-death experience, if you watch my videos, you know that I have uncovered several codes. They've been, I've, I've been made to understand them by the universal light. Now, this is what's going on. This, this is, I mean, if you, if you want a scientific explanation of why this is happening, okay, imagine this. Back in the days of the dinosaur, okay, why don't things grow that big anymore? Okay, why, I mean, can you, I mean, think about it. Why do things not grow? as big as they did back in the days of the dinosaur, okay? And that's a question to be held on to. Now, how is it that they built the pyramids, okay? How did they build that? You know, they tried building a pyramid one-tenth the size of the Pyramid of Chops. Japan did this. They couldn't do it. Not even with modern-day technology could they build. And there's no way that they're going to get those perfect cuts. They can't do it. Okay, now this is what's happening. If, you, if you're familiar with science and you can look it up, um, uh, look up solar neutrinos in, in as much as how they are penetrating our, 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 our landscape, okay? They are not penetrating the crust. Neutrino landscape, solar neutrinos are stated by science they're only penetrating the ground at a, a, a rate of like 0.025%. Okay, very little of it is penetrating the ground that you and I are walking on. Okay, imagine that this has been going on since the days of the dinosaurs. Okay, where is this energy going? Well, what I'm saying is that it's compressing our atmosphere. That's why there's no longer dinosaurs is because of this compression of neutrino elements. Another thing that's happening, you know the recent solar flare activity? This is a paper, okay, I don't know if you can read this, but you can look it up on the internet. It says, protons, even smaller, researchers report. Okay, University of San Diego, they, they're, they're doing their proton experiments. 4% smaller, that's quite a bit of, of, of of, of girth when you consider that the nucleus where the protons at is one quadrillionth the size of the atom. So this sounds like this stuff, something really big is happening. What's happening is the, the, the neutrinos that are not passing through the crust, that stuff's, you know, crushing down, crushing, 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 crushing. That is crushing the proton aspect of the atom out of existence, okay? And that's why the, the solar flares, those are proton radiations. You think it's coincidence? It's not a coincidence. Protons, protons, proton uh, getting smaller. The, the sun is blowing up proton radiations or x-rays in an effort to feed a deficit. Okay? <clears throat> now, now, that's bad. Okay, what's going to happen when you reach point break? Well, think about this. A thousand years ago, the Mayans... All these different people on the planet, they disappeared. What happened to them? Where did they go? There's no record of them. How could they, how could the Mayans know that this, uh, something that was going to happen a thousand years later? Well, this is what I'm saying. Every thousand years or so, everything changes. The earth, the earth, the, 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 the hydrogen or the, the proton element in, in our landscape, it gets flatlined along with the other six uh, atoms. The, okay, let me I get a little tongue tied here. The first six atoms on the periodic scale are what we what allows us to interact here. Okay, hydrogen, carbon, boron, beryllium, lithium, helium, and nitrogen. Okay, those seven atoms are actually in the acronym code I found called Satan. Seven atoms that absorb neutrinos. Okay, and in the ideal is 
is that uh, the first seven atoms have a natural aptitude of absorbing neutrinos. It, it's just part of the lubricant that allows life. But it, it's, it, it just gets to a, a point where it has to go somewhere. That's a lot of the reason we have the uh, tornadoes. That, that's lighter elements that get so heavy in the, in the near atmosphere up here. They get so heavy that they break through our, ox, our, our atmosphere, okay? Um, and, and the idea is that Satan is also old reptile, original life design, reactive energy particles that initiated life's evolution, okay? So the way this works is in the beginning of creation, okay, the Bible says in the beginning there, God brought forth the light. Science says there was a big bang. They're both saying the same thing. And what it was was prior to that there was only nuclear energy. There was no emanation of light. But there was an ignition, an explosion, and that's what begat the light, the first begotten. Okay, so now we have the emanation of light. Light injects into dark matter, okay? So all life as we know it is a matter of the enmeshment of light and dark, okay? Every, everything, that's all this is. And what light is doing since it's been entrapped in dark matter is it's trying to bring itself into its highest form, okay? So <clears throat> the idea is, is light has a beginning point. It passes through us. And it has many dimensions. It's doing all kinds of things. And, and uh, science has actually found a way to trace background radiations to the Big Bang. So that's actually telling you that light has a beginning. And, it, and, it, and, it, and that beginning point is still there. And what I'm saying is light is emanating from that point. It, it goes past us and through us. It's within us because the nucleus of every atom in our physical body is a particle of light. Even our thoughts, the synapse, that's a light element. So the light is within us, and it goes out into the future and develops probability equations. You know, whether you go left, whether you go right, whether you meet such and such, da-da-da. And, and that's what it's doing. And so that's why you have deja vu. It's because the light has gone before you. It's already developed that equation, so you pass it up in your physical body, and, and you have deja vu, reckoning. And that's the same way prophets do prophecy. Okay, so we got that going. That's part of the reason I know what's going to happen. And, and the idea is, is back in the days of the pyramids, the universal mind of God was, was, was pretty solid, okay? There, there wasn't a lot of division, but there was. And, and, and God and all of his intelligence and uh, all the intelligence came together and designed and developed the pyramids for the purpose of putting an end to what's happening to us now. And what the pyramids used to do, if you read about the pyramid of shops, uh, you'll find that it used to have a gold capstone, um, there's a big pit in the center of it, down on the ground level. There's a pit that goes down into the earth indefinitely, and it's full with rubbish. Okay, another thing is, is that we know about the gold capstone, the pit. They found remnants of, of red chalk on the outer perimeter of the pyramid. So and they, they don't know what that's about. Okay, if you've read about the pyramids, you know there's a lot of energy in and around there. Uh, if certain people go near it, they get sick. And it's my statement, that's because they have a large buildup of dark matter in their DNA. Um, uh, you can put a cat's body in there that's been dead for a while. It won't decay. Milk won't uh, spoil. So in other words, we know there was a lot of high energy there. Now, what the pyramid used to do is it used to suck or absorb low-frequency neutrino element and inject it into the earth. It was like a drain to keep this new neutrino buildup from happening. And the way it worked is the gold capstone creates a deficit, okay? You've got somewhat of an invisible, we'll call it gravitational pull from the gold capstone into the Earth's mantle, okay? Now you have the geometric uh, sides, okay, painted red, okay? So you have radiations bombarding the Earth. They are naturally and magnetically attracted to like. Like attracts like. So the red attracts the frequency red, okay? That hits the top of the pyramid, and because of the geometric formation of the pyramid, those frequencies, the, the red, are injected inward, okay? Those frequencies that have been injected inward get caught up in the gravitational pull deficit, okay? So those energies create a particle stream, 
which is injected into the earth and it just starts draining all this neutrino energy. Okay, that's what's going on. I tell you what, in my visions, what I see, if somebody doesn't do something about this, uh, the, the first seven atoms in the periodic scale, okay, hydrogen, carbon, boron, beryllium, lithium, helium, and nitrogen, are all going to turn into one thing. That's going to be like a, a one-dimensional sheet of light energy, okay? And that's going to roll up into the poles. Then that's what's going to happen, okay? It, 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 you know, I've had this stuff out here for eight years now. I've been to the FBI. He said, the guy told me at the FBI, I, I mean, I was a pro, I took in my honorary doctorate. I, I took him in some of my work, uh, you know, really appropriate, dressed okay. This guy tells me, you know what, Mr. Lee, he was mad at me. He thought I was just wasting his time. He said, you know what, Mr. Lee, if you don't have somebody I can put the cuffs on, you know, I, you're wasting my time. Please leave. That's what this guy told me. I sent my stuff into the, the local news surface. And, um, and, you know, they don't even bother to respond to me. You know? And, and I, what can I do? And, you know, the only reason that's happening, I mean, look at how many views I have. I've, I've got the most important, profound information to ever hit planet Earth. You know, the, the bomb stuff, this is what everybody's waiting for. For, for two, three years, I've had this on YouTube. Look at how many views I got. And you know, it's not my information. I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, relating a message from God. I'm, you know, <laughs> it's just driving me crazy because I sit in here in my house waiting, thinking somebody's going to say, hey, Lee, we need to know more about what you know about because this sounds serious. And, and you know, but whatever. I, I really, I, <laughs> I'm going to be taking a, a, a martial arts classes here because I got to get rid of some of the stress. I signed up with a, a Taekwondo studio. But man, I wish somebody could hear what I'm saying, you know, and at least, you know, maybe try to help me get newspapers. I send this stuff really nice letters. Um, I tell them about the honorary doctorate and I say, I, I show them the code, you know, the acronyms. How can you deny the acronyms, you know? Uh, and I'm telling you, I'm not a genius. I didn't make it up. God told me these acronyms. He said, Lee, if you sin, that means you serve ignorant nature. Uh, well, what's up with, if I'm ignorant, what does that mean, God? Well, that means instant gratification narrates our reactions, a natural tendency. And I say, what does it mean if I lie, in your opinion? That means you live in error. And I say, well, what's an error? Every right reaction's opposite reaction. You know, and this goes on and on. And if you, that's what the English language is. It's an acronym code. Acronym, a code revealing our natural yearning mind. Ice, it chills everything. Ear, enhances audio resonance. You know, it just goes on and on. But, you know, th this is the real deal. And, and so, you know, all I got to understand and what bothers me the most is knowing that Satan is in control of this planet. The old reptile, creation itself. And, you know, the, the thing with re old reptile, it's only reactive principalities. You know, it's not sitting there fucking excuse my language, judging me or anything like that or the situation. It's just the fact that since light is in the past, present, and future, and dark matter is enmeshed with it, that means it has access to the past, present, and future at the same time. So it understands its future demise. It knows it's going to die if people understand what I'm saying because we'll reactivate the pyramids, we'll start being better kinds of people, we will quit serving ignorant nature, and, and things will change. See, the old reptile knows that, so that's why I have so few views, and that's why nobody's talking about this. And, and it just, you know, you know, pray for me, man. I'm going to pray for us, God. We all need it. Anyway, that's it. God bless.